Ready to go. She's so excited. The United States, like they have all week, in the gold jerseys. Japan in the two shades of blue. Run headlock, swinging around. Okuno in position to score, and she does. No action. Nice, stay big. Stay big. I said it Nothing really established from Parterre, so they'll go back to their feet. Two nothing. A quick strike by Haruna Okuno. The Japanese have such an explosion when they shoot their singles and their doubles. You can see that Sarah Hill. She is Hildebrand. She has such a low stance. Similar position to Okuno's first two off that front headlock. This time, though, Hildebrand cut off the corner. Still on one knee, trying to get back to her feet. To go back into the center. A couple of deep shots by Okuno in the opening minute. Reigning world champion at 53, or excuse me, at 55 kilos a year ago. So she's wrestling down a weight this year for Japan. I would really like to see Hildebrandt moving her feet a little bit more so that she doesn't get caught off guard as Okuno tries to move her and take a shot. Get that little burst. Yes, yes, pressure. Pressure. Russell, you're back. Go get what you want. Russell, you're back. Next position. Next position. Yes. Close attention to his fingers. Hey, you're back. Next position. Saigo, Saigo. Hilda Brandt, you can see that her left arm is on Okuno's neck. She's trying to work. Hilda Brandt really likes those low singles, and she wants to try and get there. In order for that to happen, she's going to have to get a little bit closer, and she's going to have to really drop her stance down low to get to Okuno's ankles. This match very similar to how Okuno wrestled yesterday in the semifinal win against Kravchik of Poland, who we just saw. She was up 2-0 at the end of the first period, and then she turned on the offense in that second. So an early takedown in the opening few seconds, and that looks like that's going to be the only points on the board after three minutes. In this gold medal match, the United States and Japan, Okuno heads to the corner, leading 2-0. Sarah Hildebrandt talked about a different mindset this second go around. She competed in the world championships, ironically, the non-Olympic weights two years ago in Budapest. Lost in the first round, came back through the repechage, fell one win shy of a medal. And then last year, she had an injury that set her back, dislocated her elbow in the world team trials wrestling Becca Leathers, who went on to win bronze, it gave her time to reflect on her career and what she still wanted to accomplish in the sport. And one of those items on that checklist was the world championship. So a frustrating year last year, but she has been solid at 53 all year long. I didn't touch. Brought in a nutritionist last September. More chicken, fish, and veggies, the big three. You're familiar with that, aren't you? That, that, that fun diet. I am. <laughs> Boy, she has looked like a new wrestler in 2018, and now trying to figure out a way to get some offense against Japan. There we go, there we go. Yes, yes. Multiple setups, multiple setups. In order for her to get the offense going the way that she wants to, she's going to have to start engaging Okuno and really getting her to move. She likes to get in those scramble positions. Okuno wins that scramble and goes up 4-0. Get up, get up. 
Kuno trying to latch on to that leg, but Hildebrand's doing a nice job of keeping that leg elevated, so they go back to their feet. Again, this has been the part of the match over the last two days where we've seen Haruna Okuno start to create some separation a little bit. Dangerous moment if you're Hildebrandt for the United States. Okuno knows where she's at. Hildebrandt needs to start circling back in and getting her back to the center. In that passive zone area, Hildebrand able to get back onto the blue and back into the center. Forehead to forehead, the two claw away at one another with a minute 30 to go. Hildebrand then drops low. She's going to have to get moving. One of her feet has to come up. In order for her to finish that, her head has to come up. She's going to have to keep scrambling. Okuno's not going to give her any easy points here. Kuno, like she has done successfully, just continues to smother that head on any type of shot by Hildebrand. To score points on Japan, when you get in, you have to hit hard and you have to keep going. If you take a pause for even a second, they're going to stuff your head like right here, blocking it so you can't finish. With the leg, Okuno drops Hildebrand onto her rear and settles for two. Trying to latch on to the leg, still has control, goes up 6 nothing, and we'll look for that leg lace and we'll get two on the roll. Can she come back the other way? No. Fischl jumps in, but an 8 nothing lead for Haruna Okuno. It's textbook, you brought it up yesterday. When, when you watch Japan wrestle, they don't settle for just the takedown. They're already thinking that next move, and in that case, she was right on to Hildebrandt's legs. Absolutely, the Japanese are very good chain wrestlers. If you get taken down, you need to be prepared in parterre to combat a turn. Referee said one, judge says two, Matt Chairman concurs with the judge, and that's it. A familiar formula for Haruna Okuno. Second period has been hers at these world championships, and she ends it early. Now, the United States will put up a fight. They're going to challenge whether that was two or one in the corner. The Americans think just one. So we take another look, and we'll let Sally decide. It looks like they're going to say, no, she stepped out for one. It wasn't a takedown for two. Call on the mat is two. And we've seen in these reviews, they like the aggressive wrestler. The scores during the challenge tend to favor the aggressive wrestler. Absolutely. And that's going to be the case here. Winning by technical superiority, Japan's Haruna Okuno picks up another world title. So the Japanese have went back to back at 50 and 53 only for Okuno. It's at a different weight. She wins the 53 title this year after capturing the gold at 55 one year ago. Absolutely, and I guarantee you with Hildebrandt, we have not seen the last of her. She's from the state of Indiana, such a tremendous ambassador for the sport, working to get her state sanctioned for a girls' high school state tournament, creating that women's division so that more girls can follow in her footsteps. The customary trip around the championship match by Japan. Haruna Okuno and the Japanese with a pair of...